What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. Welcome back to the most epic channel on YouTube where dreams are made. And we got new Dream Team merch available on CarterShare.com so make sure you check that out at the end of this video. Today I got two RC boats and I got a swimming pool. And we are going to see if we can not only drive these on the water but drive them underneath water. Kind of like a submarine. And to help me out I got my friend Carl! Carl. <laughs> and this is his backyard and his swimming pool. So major shout out to Carl and Ginger's channel. Uh, for letting me try to drive his boats underwater and they might break. I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens This one looks almost like a submarine already like yeah, it's designed it to jump through the surf and the waves But this one looks like it's gonna be a lot faster So I don't know which yeah. one's gonna have the advantage and it looks that. like it's got razor blades on the back right there wow, It really does, huh? They're not very sharp, but they look sharp. That's cool So this one is a regular DC motor. This one's brushless. So this one's got a lot more power than this one but this one looks like a submarine, so let's see which one works better. It's gonna be interesting to find out. I'm gonna start with this little tiny boat. This is the DC motor. It kind of looks like a submarine. Let's see, is it working? <laughs> looks like it's working. Let's see how fast this thing is in the water. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, this is actually pretty fast. Whoa, Carter, that's actually a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is way faster than I thought. And this isn't even the faster of the boats. Does it turn fast? Like, is it is it responsive when you try to turn and everything? Yeah, let me try to get the trim figured out. That's awesome. Wow, guys, I was thinking that this one was gonna be super slow and not that cool, and the bigger yellow one was gonna be more fun. But this thing is actually like perfect size and perfect speed for this pool. And I have a really good feeling because since it looks like a submarine, I bet this will drive underwater really well. Carl, you want to try to drive this one now? Yeah, what do you think? Should we try this one out? I wonder if it's going to be as fast as the little white one or if it's going to be faster but not turn as good. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I don't know. The motor's smaller in that one, but it is brushless, so it should have more power. Let's see if it's turned on here. Give it some throttle. Oh, oh yeah, this thing's gonna have some speed for sure. I think it's gonna be super fast. All right, here we go. Wow, I almost fell in. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, let it rip. Okay, three, two, one, go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I okay. mean, this thing is really quick and it turns really fast, but here we go, ready? This thing is crazy fast. Whoa! Wow! Like, if I really punch it, this thing you can like, it's gonna go crazy and just ram into the side. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that one. Should we try a little race now? Yeah, man, we should totally come down here and try a little race. Here we go in three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh! I think my boat jumped over the top of yours. Wait, what just happened there? <laughs> that was like an explosion. The yellow boat totally flipped over, but honestly, I think it's because I jumped over the top of yours. Like, you cut in front of me, and I jumped over your boat like it was a ramp. That was crazy. I want to see a slow-mo replay to figure out what happened there. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so after looking at the slow-mo, it looks like your boat just like hit mine with such speed that it launched over like just a ramp. Just like a ramp, yeah. Okay, we need to try another race to see which one's faster. I want you guys to comment down below. Hashtag Carl if you think the yellow boat's gonna be faster and hashtag Carter if you think the little uh, white boat is gonna be faster. Okay, here we go. We're all lined up. We're gonna see which one can go faster. Carl, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Start. That was so crazy. I you're, got an instant start and boom, right off the line. Yeah, you're okay. I had a really bad start. I was crooked and I think I got stuck in the wake and mine just bounced off. Let's try that one more time. All right, you ready, Carl? We're all lined up and ready to go. All right, as soon as I let go, I'm gonna give a countdown. Okay, here we go. Oh, his bubbles are making it hard. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh! 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 I totally flipped Wait, I was Wait, I was in first place for like half the race. And then you took off and beat me. <laughs> and you flipped over and hit the wall. Every time I try to stop, I throw it in reverse and I just flip upside down and slam into the wall every time. Wow, okay. So, it looks like the little boat is quicker to start, but then the yellow one eventually beats it. So if the race was like halfway in the pool, I think my boat would win. So if you, you said hashtag Carter, I guess you're kind of right. I was like in first place for half of it, but then Carl won at the end of the race. So if you said hashtag Carl, you're also right. Oh yeah, but we gotta see if these things can even go underwater. So we've seen how fast they are on the top. Yeah. But we gotta see if we can submerge them like a submarine next. Yeah, that's true. We're not even out here to see which one's faster. We're trying to see which one can drive underneath the water better like a submarine. So let's give that a try. Let's do it. Before we try these, I'm curious to know which one do you guys think is gonna work better underwater without any modification? The white one or the yellow one? 
I would say this one probably would work better because it looks more like a submarine and this one is like more like a boat and I feel like it won't actually go underwater very well. I don't know though, this one has so much power, I think if it's pointed in the right direction it could just take off and stay under for a bit. Yeah, that's know. true. And there's only one way to find out, let's give it a try. Let's do it. I'm gonna start with this little white and green boat and see if we can get this thing to go underwater. The way I think we can drive this underwater is if we hold it underwater like this and the, use the throttle to jet it down underneath the water. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know if it's gonna work. We might need to weight this with rocks or something, but let's test it out. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try it in three, two, one. Oh! Whoa! Wait, Whoa! It, it kinda went underwater. It definitely went down like a foot or two before it popped back up. It tried. Yeah, okay, let me try that again real quick. It went under, but not very deep. Maybe if I hold it steeper of an angle, it'll work better. Okay, here we go in three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa. It's trying. It oh. wants to go down. It's trying. I think if we weight this with rocks, it might actually drive underwater pretty well. You wanna try yours now? I think so, yeah, we should definitely try this. Okay, I'll get down on the water here. Should I just do the same thing that you did, Carter? Yeah, this one's got way more power, so you might slam the bottom of the pool. Okay, I'm just gonna aim it down like this. You might jet yourself. As soon as I get the <laughs> propeller underwater, I'm gonna go for it. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! 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 <laughs> no way! What was that? It totally shot off. That was like a fish. Was, Wait. Like swerved all over <laughs> underwater. That was awesome. I did not expect that to happen. That was insane. Okay, so what if I get in the water and I hold it underneath and then you hit the throttle okay. and we do it with teamwork? <laughs> yeah, that was so that. cool. Wait, I was not expecting that at no. all. Okay, so for this one, Carl is going to go under with the yellow boat. He's going to hold it underwater and at a little bit of an angle down. I'm going to try driving it and see if I can keep it underwater and drive it underneath water like a submarine. Let's see if this works. Awesome. I'm already down here. I'm just going to hold this under when you tell me. Okay. And I'm going to kind of keep the nose angled down and then yep. we'll go for it. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Okay, here I'm going to submerge it. Ready? Yeah, yep. Here we go. Let's go. I'm, the throttle's on, but it's not working. Whoa! 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 Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. That was weird. Let's just make sure it's working for a second. I think if you go too go. deep, the signal cuts off. It might. Okay, so I'll just go just under the surface yeah. and I'll carefully control it. When I feel the motor going, I'm just gonna let go. Okay, sounds good. Ready? All right. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna put it under. I'm not gonna go as deep this time. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Go. Whoa! That okay. was weird. So I think what's happening, I'm going full throttle, but if you go too deep under the water, the radio signal from the controller can't go through the water and reach the boat until it comes back up shallow and then it goes throttle. So maybe what happened the first time is it saw your last throttle control and you put it underwater, it just kept full throttle the whole time. Right. I wonder if we had the propeller going while it was above water and then I just like kind of threw it down in. Okay, so I'll try half throttle and then stick it under. Okay. And then like uh, maybe it'll just stay half throttle. Okay, that's cool. That's Ready? about half, yep. Set. Go. It hit Hunter. It hit Hunter. It hit our cameraman. Did he catch it? It's full throttle. This is gonna be crazy. Hit it. We're uh -oh. ready. I want to get out of the pool. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. Okay, ready? Here we go. All right. Go. Oh, oh, I think we need to drain the water out on this one. Uh, yeah, see, I'm not even touching it right now. And there's a lot of water in that boat submarine. We're going back to the little boat now. And even though it didn't really get under the water too well, it was a lot more controllable. So this time I'm going to add some weights. I'm going to put some rocks in the front of it and see if this will help sink it underneath the water. Yeah, that's a good idea. And hopefully this will allow it to kind of sink under and be more of a submarine and less like a boat. If anything, it'll keep the front end and the nose, the nose pointed down, which it like wants to go under anyways, it seems like already. Yeah, it does. I think it just doesn't have quite enough power. So this weight might be perfect for it. We're going to find out. Yeah, we're gonna find out really shortly here. I got, I have like five rocks in there, quite a few. So I don't even know if this thing's gonna float. Let's see. Let's just try driving it real quick. Okay. All right, ready? Let's go. It drives fine. Oh! Oh, it wants to go under. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, go, go, go! Wait, there it is actually oh. working. Okay. Whoa. We might have made a submarine out of the little boat now. Look at it! It wants to go under, it's trying to go down. It's trying, I think we need to add a few more rocks. Okay, so this thing definitely wants to sink. 
Let's add a little bit more weight. I think it'll go all the way under. Maybe if we put just like a couple in the back. Oh, to even it out. Get some of the air out of it and it'll, Definitely. it'll go better. Yep. We got a lot of rocks in here. We have like five in the front and another four in the back. This thing is actually starting to get some pretty heavy. <laughs> I don't know if it's even going <laughs> to float anymore. Is it? Uh, it floats. <laughs> it still does. Let's see if it'll drive like a boat. There we go. <laughs> it might okay. be too heavy. It might just go under this time. Here all we right. go. In three. All, you're all set. Two. One. Oh! oh! There it goes. Wait. Oh! <laughs> it went under. Does the signal cut out like the other boat or does it, it still work? I'm not sure. All right, so we're going to try dipping the antenna. This is where the signal sends out and see if it helps send it through the water. I don't know if that's actually going to work, but it's worth a try. We'll see. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, it hit the I, bottom. I think you touched the bottom that it time. It definitely touched the bottom. So it's not really much of a boat. It's kind of like a sinker slash submarine. It kind of just dives straight down. It doesn't really drive at all. Let's open this one and see what the damage is. Oh, whoa, look at all that water in there. Oh, that is not good. The light's still on. Uh-oh, it's a lot of dirty water. We gotta get all the rocks out too. I don't know if this thing's still gonna work. The yellow boat's dried enough now to try it again and to prevent it from getting wet really easily just by being underwater, we're gonna use some flex tape or some flex seal and we're gonna stick it around the, the seam right there to keep water from getting in. That way it should be able to drive underwater even better. Okay, we're all set up. We got the flex seal on this boat, which is Hopefully now a modified underwater boat. We're gonna see if we can drive it underwater even further than the first couple times. Let's see if it works, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just gonna hold it just under and not hang on to it and let it go when it starts to go. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, go. I have no idea. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Does it still work? Oh, it still works. We gotta try that again. That was amazing. Wait, that was crazy. <laughs> wow, that last one was so crazy. The back off, so I can't get over that. Okay, so for this one, instead of holding underwater, I'm gonna drop it down and kind of have it dive under. And now we're in the deep part of the pool. It's about nine feet deep. I wanna see if we can get all the way nine feet under, or maybe it'll come back up and sh launch out of the water. I don't even know anymore. You ready for this? We got the throttle working. Here we go in three, two, one. It's coming back up. There it is. It totally made it all the way down. You can hear it hit the bottom. Yeah, it like made a thud. Okay, I'm gonna try that again with uh, not super steep of an angle, but kind of like more flat and see if we can go a long ways down the pool. I'm gonna throw it under like this and see if it works. <laughs> it like turns invisible at first. Like there's a second there where you like, right, right. can't see it Okay, this one's, I feel like this one's common for you, Carl, so watch out. All right, sounds good. <laughs> you ready? Okay, here we go in three, two, one. Whoa! Where is it? It's where right it? there, it's just coming back up. <gasps> it went really deep though. <laughs> it really did. We're going again. Hunter Cam 1 is going to hold it. We're going to try to do a very flat angle to see if we can go for long distance underwater as opposed to really deep. Here we go. Oh wait, Let's come back up. Looks like it's not running too well. The servo's working. Oh man, Carter, look at the nose of how, how dented and flat oh, it is from hitting the bottom. Oh wow, can you see the nose? That's how hard it hit the pool bottom. It just, that used to be pointed really sharp and now it's flat. <laughs> We are Project Zorgo. Today is November 3rd, the doomsday date. I'm trying to rip off the flex tape now because I think water still got in, but look how sticky this stuff is. I can't even get it off. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. It's like a wrestling match. And always remember, Project Zorgo is watching. So looking at it, it looks like the motor or possibly the motor driver could be fried. I'm going full throttle right now on the boat. It's not working, I think. It either needs to dry out or it might need some maintenance, I don't know. But comment down below what you guys think we should do next for to drive these boats underwater even better. And in other huge news, I'm coming out with a movie which is super awesome. Coral and the entire family is in the movie too, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I'll give you some more info soon. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to Carl and Ginger's channel, and I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye! Bye. Woo.